Hey everybody, Roxbox9 here with some more Born of the Gods speculation. He, the guy who put it up considered them spoilers, but I think it's too soon to say and the confirmation is too weird. So he said somebody found something on a thrown out print sheet from Wizards, maybe, and these are some things that were on that list. The first is a legendary blue Kraken that makes a 9-9 Kraken when it deals combat damage to a player. Sounds kind of like a worse at giant anaphage because it's probably going to be you know eight nine mana but it could be really cool for limited and it could just be a cool card and even better is that it makes the it would make the nine nine kraken token that our kiora planeswalker is going to make as well so that would be really cool if it's true then we have a legendary minotaur that makes an opponent discard two cards at random wow the chances of that being multicolored are almost zero because having that heavy a discard would probably be mono black. Mono black legendary minotaur, I can't really imagine that happening. Minotaurs are just so red. I guess it could happen. It's possible. Um, it could be really cool though to have a discard effect like that. It would make mono black even mono or uh, black red more much more powerful. Then we have ferocious charge, which is a reprint, and if it will appear, yeah. Um, it's just as scry, which is why it would be reprinted, and it's not a bad pump spell. More for a limited format, though, not for in pro play. Mogus God of Violence is a card, so that's a really cool name and would be really awesome. And we kind of expect Mogus to be in the set in some way or another, so that's pretty much just that would be considered confirmation. And it's a really cool name if it's true. So speculating on him, God of Violence. I'm guessing probably black or black red just seems to fit those colors really well. I doubt it would be a green-red. Violence is just a very red, it's red focused, but Mogus himself from the pictures we've seen makes it most likely to have uh, to have that. Although, theoretically, I guess, pretty sure it's gonna have red in the colors, whatever dual color it would be. It just seems to fit that title, that name. And Mogus himself is kind of chaotic and crazy that way. A Black Day of Judgment. This would be really cool, especially because Damnation is such a pain in the butt to get. And Day of Judgment, for those who don't know, is a Wrath of God where it's two of the color and two for destroying all creatures, but they can be regenerated, unlike Wrath of God, which says they can't be regenerated. So Day of Judgment, having a black one, I think would be really nice. Why? I mean, I guess it would fit into Born of the Gods as a set, maybe, although I'm not really sure how. Unless it's because we're having a little more black-red somehow, but I, I just don't know. They're not really changing a lot with the set that we know of, but the next thing he, he mentions, a legendary land that taps for colorless and can pay two mana to return an enchantment from your graveyard to your hand, and if it's rare, this card is harkens back to Volrath Stronghold and cards of that nature, which have a two-tap awesome effect, Academy Ruins. They've been printed throughout Magic, and they're fairly unusual. They appeared in like Time Spiral, and Volrath Stronghold is in Stronghold. But they're very unusual lands, very strong lands, especially in EDH Commander. And if they made one for enchantments, which has been missing, they don't have one. They had to have for artifacts, they have for creatures, but they don't have for enchantments. So if they make it for enchantments, that would also be a really unusual print and would kind of justify printing also a Day of Judgment, just them doing unusual things. Black Day of Judgment could make some really huge waves in standard and would cement mono black control as insane, absolutely insane, but uh, that would be really cool if it's true. And we don't know if any of these are credible, but they're all really, really neat, and those are my general speculation. The chances of them actually appearing, some of them seem very likely. The, um, the Minotaur seems probably the weirdest one of them all. Given if these two these two are connected, I think that they would probably both need to be true because they're both unusual cards to print. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. If this is true, I don't know. If it turns out to be true, then this guy, Master Moja, that's a pretty big plus in his book as a spoiler person. We'll have to see in the coming, it's in a week and a half, I think, official spoilers. So stay tuned for that. Leave your thoughts about these down below if you think they're true, not any, any other thoughts. Be happy to chat with you guys in the comments section about that as well. Tap that like button to let me know that you enjoyed the video and you want to see more speculation and spoilers on Porn of the Gods. And as always, Roxbox90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.